Could cannabis help fight COVID-19? Well, a new study says yes. Research from scientists at Oregon State University suggests two chemicals found in hemp may block infection. Reporter Mary Klingler has some important details you need to understand first. Yeah, and you might be thinking, oh, cool, weed fights COVID-19, but no, we want to make it perfectly clear that is not what we are talking about in this story. What we're talking about is hemp, which is very different. Smoking pot to prevent COVID is not going to get you those acids. As this new finding sweeps headlines across the nation, Dr. Bill Smith, a researcher who specializes in COVID-19 trials, says there are a few facts you got to know. Okay, let me start out by saying this was a laboratory test. Meaning it hasn't been tested on humans in clinical trials yet, but inside this lab analysis, they were able to attach to the spikes on the coronavirus and prevent it from being able to attach to the cells. If it works in humans, scientists say it could be used in COVID-19 vaccines. Which are acids that can be extracted from the leaves that are still growing. When those acids go through processing for consumer use, he says those acids die. So what are these live mystery acids? Well, they're found in hemp. Hemp is cannabis containing less than 0.3% Delta 9 THC. Before the plant is turned into cloth, paper, or a drug, researchers say they're extracting two acids that fight the virus. CBDA and CBGA have the potential to uh, reject COVID cells. Cannabis expert and hemp house owner Andy Chesney says if it hits the market, people might lean toward the appeal of a natural alternative. I'm saying that from the perspective of someone who works all day in a cannabis shop. And so, of course, everyone that comes in here uh, has that attitude towards it. Now, what they plan to do with this newfound information is up in the air right now, but we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. I'll toss it back over to you guys in the studio. Mary, thank you. Researchers at AMR Knoxville say they have reached out to the company making this product for more information. If it is valid, they do plan to conduct clinical trials right here in East Tennessee. Now, you may be wondering about the differences between CBD, hemp, and Delta 8. CBD is extracted from cannabis like THC and is commonly used to reduce pain and anxiety. The forms of CBD you find in most stores is likely derived from hemp. Tennessee does allow THC levels of up to 0.9 for research purposes in CBD products. Hemp that is grown legally in the U.S. is a strain of the cannabis plant. For industrial purposes, the THC levels are less than 0.3 percent concentration. Hemp is used for a variety of products from rope to clothes and hemp seed oil. Delta 8, it is derived from hemp and Delta 8 THC can be found in a variety of forms from gummies to syrups and vapes. Delta 8 has less than THC than marijuana. Legally, Delta 8 must be less than 0.03% THC. According to the 2018 Federal Farm Bill, hemp products that contain THC levels less than 0.3% are legal in Tennessee. The pilot